Hey, what's up guys? This is Autark here. Wahoo today unveils steer functionality in their virtual cycling platform, Wahoo RGT, and along with it, the all new kicker steer, and they also introduced kicker race mode. So what does this mean for you as a user? Well, now you have a more realistic and immersive ride experience. You'll be able to maneuver your avatar around other cyclists is going to add a whole new level of strategy and engagement to rides and particularly racing, which I will talk about later in this video. And if you find this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you quickly hit that like button. It helps the video and the channel quite a bit and I really appreciate it. Okay, there are multiple ways to control steering in RGT. If you have a kicker bike, you can use integrated thumb buttons on the inside of your shifters to steer left and right. You can either tap to move your avatar one lane over or by holding the button to continually move towards that direction. Simple and straightforward and no need to have the RGT screen app open on your phone and you will see steering in the pairing screen for your kicker bike in RGT. The other method is to use the Wahoo RGT screen app. With the new updated app, you will see a steering option within the app. By pressing on the steering tab, it will take you there. If you press the tilt control off, you can tap on the arrows on the screen to steer your avatar left and right. The other method is to use the app interface and press the steering option to steer or your keyboard if you are using a PC by pressing the A and D button to steer you left and right. Finally, this brings us to the all new kicker steer accessory. The kicker steer is basically a tray with a base that allows it to tilt side to side. It comes with two thumb paddles and a mount using the included aluminum bike computer mount that can also be used for your bike computer also a Garmin and a GoPro mount are included. So basically it's an accessory that makes it easy for you to place your phone on top to control steering with the RGT app. Also included are two Allen key wrenches. The small one is used to mount the bike computer and the big one is used to mount the thumb paddles. Once you install the steering thumb paddles, you are now ready to mount the steering tray to your bike using the computer mount included. Once you install it, you can adjust the location of the thumb paddles by untightening the screws and adjust the paddles to where you are most comfortable with. I'm using the kicker bike here because the bike computer mount included with the steer is not compatible with my bike's handlebars, so the kicker bike will have to do for now. And uh, look at that. We now have the kicker bike tray that I have always wanted to have. Next, place your phone on the kicker steer and turn on the RGT remote app. Tap on the steer tab. Make sure you have tilt control turned on. Then tap on the calibrate button and that should recenter the steering capabilities within the app. You can easily detach, reattach the kicker steer. That way you can use the mount for your bike computer when you are not using the Wahoo kicker steer. So up until now, in Wahoo RGT, riders position on the road was automated with riders using their power to move around other cyclists but with the steering option enabled you will be able to maneuver by pressing on the thumb paddle slightly to move one lane over or by pressing and holding to keep steering right or left and of course you won't be able to cross the center line steering in game will add a whole new different dynamic to racing and group riding you will be able to maneuver to block other riders from passing you. Also, as you are coming behind other riders, they can block you and you will have to steer to go around them. And don't worry, there is an auto avoidance feature built in. So if you haven't steered in two plus minutes, the game will automatically steer you around the rider in front of you after a few seconds. So steering is going to be available for all events, including group rides and races. At this time, steering RGT is only compatible with the kicker bike, kicker steer plus the RGT remote app, keyboard by using the A and D keys, and the onboard app UI. There are no plans to add compatibility with other devices at this time, such as the Elite Riser or Steerzo, per my conversation with Wahoo, because of the way these devices communicate steering is different than how RGT steering works. However, other Bluetooth devices such as the Commander accessory can work with steering by programming the button as keyboard and customizing the buttons to A and D keys to input steering. The Kicker Steer is priced at $99.99 US dollars. You can also get the Wahoo Axe and Kicker Steer bundle for $199.99 and save $49 with the bundled offer. 
And if you are already a Wahoo X subscriber, the steer accessory will be available at a preferential loyalty price for a limited time. Wahoo also released the kicker race mode, which uses Wi-Fi and direct connect capabilities of its trainers to broadcast power up to 10 times faster than standard trainers. This is massive because it will give riders a competitive advantage at critical race stages. Race mode is available on the new Kicker V6 with built-in Wi-Fi and coming to the Kicker Bike V2 very soon. It is also available on previous versions of the Kicker with the use of the Kicker uh, Direct Connect Wi-Fi adapter. I'll have more on the Kicker race mode in a different video, so make sure to subscribe so you do not miss that one. Okay, so I don't know about you, but how many of you folks are excited about the steering feature? I think steering has its places. I'm definitely not going to use it in workout mode, for example, or possibly even in group rides. But in races, it will definitely add a whole new dynamic to racing. But like we've seen with Zwift, when they made steering available, it was quickly disabled in the majority of their races because steering isn't widely available among users. And this usually gives users with steering an unfair advantage, particularly in courses with a lot of twisty turns. But how Wahoo implemented steering here is slightly different and sort of made steering available to everyone without the need for third-party devices or trying to figure out how to mount their phone on the handlebar. And as for the kicker steer, I think it's a clever little device and works very well for its intended use. But personally, I'm just not a fan of using my phone while riding, but that's just me. It doesn't mean it's bad. It's just, I like to keep my phone free when I'm riding. I wish the kicker steer itself had the steering capabilities built in rather than having to rely on my phone for that. But I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think of the RGT steering and the kicker steer? Let's chat in the comments. There you have it. The RGT steering, the kicker steer, and kicker race mode. Hope you found this video helpful. Remember to hit the like button. And if you are still watching and haven't subscribed yet, then you know what to do. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.